heat, no? Yeah, so I have the heated gloves, and right here, you have the heated socks, heated oh, pants, nice. heated All right. jacket, um, gloves, jacket, pants, and socks. So you, you're fully warm? Yeah, and then I have the heated grip. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice bike. <laughs> thank you, thank you. YouTube is Chris from Chris Rides and Low Rides. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris from Chris Rides and Low Rides. What's up, YouTube? It's Chris from Chris Lies and Low Rise, and I'm about to take the Road Glide out for a cold 13 degree ride and just see how it's going to do, see how this cold weather gear is going to hold up by Harley Davidson and just have a quick, fun ride. So stay with me, stay tuned. It's 10 degrees outside, and I'm about to jump on the bike, so I'm about to put on this face mask. Harley Davidson heated pants. Harley Davidson cold weather pants and waterproof pants with my Harley Davidson socks. Harley Davidson heated jacket and Harley Davidson leather coat.
have the heater sock, heater oh, pants, nice. heater right. jacket, um, gloves, jacket, pants, and socks. So you're, you're fully warm. Yeah, and then I have the heated grip. <laughs> nice, buddy. <nice. laughs> thank you, thank you. So uh, the gloves work good. I can feel my grips. My grips are on, but I don't know. I can feel a little bit of coldness on my fingertips right in there. And uh, I can feel cold on my forehead. And um, the tips of my toes are a little bit cold. I wouldn't recommend going on a super far ride because if any of this gear was to go out, you'd be screwed. Um, so I'm gonna unplug from here. So I have all my gear on three and uh, I'm toasty. So the heated gear does work, but I wouldn't recommend riding far because if it goes out, you're screwed. So. Where the ice is at. I think the only 
place. My feet got cold a little bit on the tips of my boots. And um, I don't think there's any heating elements on the tips. I would not ride recommending far if it's cold outside because if your heat, your heated gear goes out, you're screwed. So I just stuck close to home and um, it was about 13 degrees. I wanted to see how, how I could stand in the cold. My forehead got a little bit cold. Um, I lifted my shield up one time and um, it felt like, like brain freeze, like when you drink a Slurpee or something like that. But other than that, um, it wasn't bad. You know, heated gear on. Um, again, I wouldn't go far because you just don't know if your heated gear is gonna fail or something like that and um, you can't get back home. So, but if it was an emergency, you absolutely could do it. I stopped at one point and I put the heated gear on from two, the, the second setting to the third setting, and um, that helped out. It was a little bit too warm at that point, but, but yeah, you can absolutely do it. Um, I'm not sure if riding with a non-module helmet helps in the cold, but uh, it was still fine. I mean, with the face mask, it was still fine. Just keep your you have to every now and then open up your windshield because it is going to get fogged up with all the heat generated. And uh, as far as the bike, the bike performed fine in uh, 13 degree temperatures. I'm pretty sure my tires never heated up. And um, I did get a, a low air reading on the tires because they never get warm enough to expand. So I only did about nine or 10 miles. So I can't do any bragging about all right youtube that's going to do it for this week's episode of chris glides and low rise merry christmas and if you're a dallas cowboys fan i hope that you're having fun tonight as the cowboys whoop up on the philadelphia eagles go cowboys <laughs> nah. hey look i hope i don't lose none of y'all subscribers because you guys are eagles fans or uh, Commanders fans, but anyway, go Cowboys, Cowboys Nation.